but things don't always go as we planned. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that person. I'm not gonna be that person that tries to show the camera and it falls. Mm -mm. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Leah and this channel is going by Leah Living because really it's just not necessarily vlogging, but it, it, it probably is mostly vlogging. <laughs> But I'm just here to show you real life experiences and my breakdown of how I perceived it, how I went through it, and maybe in a way it'll help you, any of you out there, understand your own experiences or even add on, you know, a new perspective to what you already have about an experience of your own. So this video started off with me wanting to change my habits, my morning habits, um, my lifestyle habits, my healthy habits, and it all just kind of crammed into one opportunity of waking up at like 4.45 in the morning, technically. That way I could start my day at five, go to the gym, uh, come back home, do all the mindfulness things, eat healthy, drink a protein shake, and blah, 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 and so forth but things don't always go as we planned. <laughs> so this is definitely not the type of video that I want to post because it looks perfect and it's just, oh, here are the one, two, three steps on how to create a healthy lifestyle or how to wake up early. No, this I'm sure is not really aesthetically pleasing at all. I pretty much recorded this whole thing through my phone, which already doesn't have that great of quality and it was dark outside no great lighting at all no cool snippets of you know b-roll of my day of my morning and how it went definitely not like that at all i just wanted to see if i could do it honestly and then i was gonna bring y'all along with me to see how it went in the beginning i was so sure that you know this is what i wanted to do this is how i want to do it the opportunity is there why not just jump on it which is totally fine it's it's an expectation that i understand why i had it in the first place but what i didn't take into account was my own mental health and the fact that i went from zero to 100 i literally went from waking up at eight nine in the morning to waking up at 4 45 in the morning and i didn't give myself as much grace as i should have which is okay it's all a learning experience but really quickly before i keep going to explain this i'm gonna insert a clip um basically me talking about why I wanted to start doing this in the first place with the mindset that I had at that time. So let's get into that one. Good morning. Today is a very windy and slightly rainy day. Okay, legit, my podcast just interrupted me. <laughs> so I feel like I didn't give this... Um, video a proper introduction because I didn't know where I was going with it and I completely forgot that I was not going to be waking up at 5 a.m. every single day of the week so hi again <laughs> so it is the second week now of me waking up at 5 in the morning it is a personal choice it is something that it is an a little 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 it is a habit that I want to acquire. I want to replace my late sleeping habits. And by late, I mean like 9, 10, p 9, 10 a.m. That's me sleeping late. I want to be able to wake up super early in the morning and feel, or you know what? S wake up super early in the morning to be able to prepare myself for an energized day. I just get so much more done in the morning. I don't know if I would call myself a morning person, but I certainly feel way more motivated and guilt-free and just ready for anything when I wake up early. If I do stay up late, usually I'm staying up late watching TV to be honest. And in the morning, I don't feel like watching TV. I am so just on a daze that I don't feel like paying attention to TV, so I've, I'm using that to my advantage to journal, to drink more water, to take time to myself, maybe meditate, read, 
do the things that I know will help me in the long run. Healthier mindset choices. And yeah, so I'm starting off with the gym, but this is a journey I'm excited to take on and let's see if this habit takes. Let's see how long I can do this for. I did post my WBK Fit Challenge photos, or I'm going to post them today. Um, which is super exciting because that is what sparked my interest in going to work out in the mornings no matter what like I've been able to work out and stay consistent because of their workouts and their meal plans and it just sets you up for success you know what I mean once you start something it kind of helps get the ball rolling with everything else with all the other habits that you want to do so yeah let's let's get this day started so as you can see, I had a good head on my shoulders. I have a good head on my shoulders. I was hoping for the best. I was really hoping that I was going to stick to it because it was like a opportunity of a lifetime. I've always wanted to wake up earlier just because, not necessarily because I work best early in the day. It's just, I wanted to get into the habit of just getting stuff done as soon as possible. That way the rest of my day can go with ease. I don't feel like I have to do anything and you know I do work so when I go into work I'm not worried about the next thing I gotta do when I get out of work I'm free to do basically whatever I want and for a couple days <laughs> I am gonna honestly say for a couple days it went just like that I was able to get all of the things done and I was really happy with the way that my life was going doing these habits waking up early you know being mindful drinking my protein shake blah, blah 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 i just didn't get to show that but i would honestly say that it felt like i had lived a whole other day i don't know i don't know if grant cardone or i forgot who said this okay i really don't want to quote exactly who said it but i'm sure those of you who get it um you can comment down below and let me know who said it but they end up blocking out like what is it three hours or maybe even one hour like they do three hour work days um, I'm totally quoting this wrong so don't quote me but my understanding of it was you limit yourself to a certain amount of time to just do all of the things for that one subject or that one topic or that one project you put it into like a three hour or a two hour um, time block and then you give yourself 15 minutes or whatever and then you go on to the next thing you just give yourself a, a limited amount of time that way you know that you're at least working on something in those times each day so you don't get so overwhelmed because what I tend to do is I like to spend a whole day on a project even like several days because my mind is just here and there here and there and I wanted to get into the habit of just mornings are for mindfulness and health obviously health goes along the way with like what i eat throughout the day but just making those choices at the start of my day that way i go the rest of my day with that same mindset of you know what i already made really good choices in the morning let's keep going so yeah that's how it started off and it was great it was wonderful but i got tired really easily not a surprise maybe some people could go from one routine to another that quickly that fast but i couldn't and that's okay i just wanted to test myself out and see how much i could do and how far i could go i was gonna make it honestly into like a 30-day challenge to wake up early and do all of the things but i ended up only doing it for maybe like two weeks and then not even maybe like a week a week and a half and i was like dang this is kicking my ass i just couldn't keep up and to be fair it i could have done it maybe like every other day or like <laughs> maybe not so early in the morning but the thing is that i had to wake up that early because my boyfriend actually works the overnight shift so if i could drop him off in the evening and then pick him up in the morning it would force me to wake up early that was the opportunity that i found i would be forced to wake up early that way i had no excuse so it really wasn't like oh maybe i could wake up at 5 30 or maybe i could wake up at 6 first and then 5 30 and then 5 and then 4 30 no i had no time to do that for myself and i mean i can definitely start now will i i don't know <laughs> We will see. But for now, that was my experience. I just, I know that some of you maybe have tried 
to make healthier choices or wake up early let's say in the topic of waking up early i'm sure some of you have been like yeah i'm gonna wake up early i'm gonna get my stuff done and then it just doesn't happen because your mindset the way that you prepared yourself for that day the day before um, there, there are so many variables that can hinder you or just completely stop you and unmotivate you, honestly. Like, there are so many things that go into preparing yourself for doing something that you've never done before that could either, either set you up for success or set you up for, I don't even want to say failure, but a learning curve. So I'm definitely in that learning curve right now and for a little bit I was kind of feeling really guilty and like really all you have to do is wake up early Leah. That's all you have to do. It's not that hard and no on paper it seems not that hard but sometimes your mindset gets a little bit in the way or your own habits kind of ruin everything else that you have for yourself. But that's why you do these things, you try these things out at least no matter how much you say that you can't do it, no, that's not me, that's not the type of person I want to be. It's the type of person you can be if you work through it. It's not going to be a day or night, you know, you're not always going to love it. The point is not to love it. The point is to find value in it and continue going because of it. So it's still a process for me. I didn't get to do the whole 30 day challenge to show y'all that I could do it, woohoo. But at least y'all see that it is totally normal and natural to to take some L's, to take some lessons in the things that you do. Not everything's gonna be a total success. Even just learning different ways to do something can be a success because let's say all of these entrepreneurs, they did things other people couldn't. They did things in a way that involves trial and error, trial and error, and then they found another way to do it. And now people can benefit from that other way of doing it. There's not just one set of steps that are going to take you to success. Maybe it'll work for some people, maybe not for others. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't keep trying. So I hope this inspired you in some way to just keep, keep doing what you're doing. It's going to be a learning process. If you feel unmotivated already to do something, knowing that it's going to benefit you, take a step back. Don't just you know pass it on to the next thing take a step back and see if maybe you can recollect yourself or if you can try it a different way because if you know it's gonna benefit you why would you stop why would you stop going why would you stop trying you owe it to yourself to keep going to keep trying because just because something doesn't work out the first time doesn't mean that you can't get back up and take two more steps forward you'll see that i like my what do you call them Man, I used to love English, English class and I just, I don't even remember, analogies, metaphors, similes, anything like that, that involves like words that create visuals, that's, that's, that's how I speak. <laughs> but a book really quick that I would suggest you read that has kind of helped me work out this, this process and my mindset when doing the things that I want to do that I've never done before is Atomic Habits. I'm not even halfway done with that book because I am studying it and it has helped me understand myself and understand the type of habits that I have and the type of habits that I'm trying to change. So if that's something that you're really interested in and like developing better habits or understanding other people and their habits, then I suggest reading Atomic Habits. It's super good. Um, I'll even link that below in an Amazon uh, link just to make it easier on y'all. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching and listening and I'll see you in the next one.